how to draw Saturn inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer, and this is Dia Graphics. So the first thing we want to do is simply to activate the grid. So go to View, then go to Show Grid, then go to View again, and snap to Grid. Now select the Ellipse tool, and draw an ellipse that is 5 by 5 squares. Now select the stroke, and disable the stroke. Click the Fill, and select a color that you want for your planet. Then go to the Selection tool, hold down the Alt key to duplicate the circle, and move it a little bit to the side. Select both circles, go to the Shape Builder tool, click these two shapes that you want, and while holding down the Alt key, delete this shape that you don't want. This now leaves us with these two shapes. Then select this shape right here, and give it a slightly darker color. And if you want my colors, I will show you the hex codes later in this video. Now select the ellipse tool again, and while holding down the shift key, draw a tiny circle. Make sure the color of the circle matches the shadow side of the planet. Then click the stroke, and give the stroke the same color as the light side of the planet. And bump up the stroke a little bit. Now place copies of this crater all around the planet in various sizes. When you're done placing the craters, we need to place a couple of craters on the outside of the planet, just to give the drawing some more details. So select one of these craters, hold down the Alt key to duplicate it, and squeeze it a little bit to make it an ellipse. And to make it easier to place the crater, we need to disable Snap to Grid. So go to View, and unselect Snap to Grid. And you might have to zoom in to the planet a little bit. Now select the crater, and rotate it and move it to fit the edge of the planet. You want approximately half the crater to be outside the edge, and half to be inside the edge. Place one more at the bottom. Now place some on the shadow side as well. And here on the shadow side of the planet, we don't need the lighter color for the outline. So just select the crater, and remove the outline. Leaving behind just a bump. Copy this one to the bottom as well. So now zoom out a little bit, then select the ellipse tool again. And before we keep drawing, we need to activate Snap to Grid again. So go to View, and go to Snap to Grid. Then while holding down the Shift key, draw a circle the exact same size as the planet. Now go to the Selection tool, and duplicate this circle down below. Then grab this anchor point right here, and squeeze the circle till it's only two squares tall. Then hold down the Alt key, and expand the circle to the side, two squares. Now go to Edit, go to Copy, then go to Edit again, and paste in front. Now we have a copy of this shape on top of the original. So while having the top shape selected, grab this anchor point, and squeeze it so it's only one square tall. Then hold down the Alt key, and reduce the width by one square in each side. Then with the arrow key, notch it down one time. Select both ellipses, go to the Shape Builder tool, click one time at this shape right here, and while holding down the Alt key, delete this shape right here. Then go to the Selection tool, select this circle right here, and while holding down the Alt key and the Shift key, expand it one notch. Then select this ring right here, give it the color that you want for your ring, and move the ring up, until you like the position. When you are happy with the position of the ring, hold down the shift key and select the ring and the planet. Then if you want the ring to be rotated, you need to do it right here. And you need to rotate it while both having the ring and the circle selected. So for this video, I want to rotate it just a little bit. When you are happy with the rotation of the ring, go to the Shape Builder tool, and while holding down the Alt key to subtract, subtract these shapes right here. Also subtract this shape right here, then release the Alt key to get the plus next to the cursor, and merge all these shapes together. And if your ring is heading right into this bump right here, you might need to move this bump just a little bit up. Now go to the Selection tool, and select the ring, then select the gradient, and give the ring a slight gradient. I hope you are having an amazing day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the in-card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.